afternoon, Jets Nation. Here are today's top stories. So Jeremy Pruitt is not going to be joining the Jets coaching staff. It was reported yesterday that he was going to be the New York Jets' new defensive backs coach. But that was all just rumor, and he is not joining the Jets staff. Deshaun Watson also requested a trade a day after the David Culley hiring happened. According to Adam Schefter, he requested a trade weeks ago, but I guess it becomes official today. Anyway, the New Yorkers is one of the top suitors for Deshaun Watson. I mean, first off, Watson wants to play for the New York Jets. He likes the New York Jets' new head coach. Robert Sala, and why that matters is because Watson has a no-trade clause on his contract, meaning he can say no to any trade that has him involved in it. And it would also work out for the Houston Texans because they can get a haul in return for Deshaun Watson from the New York Jets. I mean, think about it. You could get like three first-round draft picks, plus Quentin Williams, Sam Darnold even. I mean, you can get literally so much from the New York Jets, it could be unreal. You would also most likely get that number two overall pick in this year's draft, which is so valuable because, you know, one of the other top teams in regards in Watson trade talks is the Miami Dolphins because, first off, you would be able to live in Miami. And they're already, like, a really good team. They were, like, the eighth seed if that was a thing in the playoffs. So, you know, Watson would probably want to play with an already good team in the Miami Dolphins. And then, plus, Miami could also send the Texans a haul in return for Deshaun Watson. But would Houston really want to trade for their own draft pick? I mean, think about it. Miami has Houston's third overall pick. So would Houston really be wanting to send their franchise quarterback in return for their own pick? And secondly, that number two overall pick that the Jets have is really valuable because, you know, number one overall pick is definitely going to be Trevor Lawrence. So you basically control the rest of the draft with number two. And the player that the Houston Texans could potentially want sitting at number three, the Jets could, the Jets could snag. I mean, you know, so Houston's not safe with that number three overall pick, but if you trade him to the Jets, you have that number two overall pick. And you want Penny Sewell, sure you can have him. You want Zach Wilson, sure you can have him. So, I mean, trading him to the New York Jets seems like it's going to happen. I mean, if I could bet, I would bet that Deshaun Watson would go to the New York Jets. I mean, I'm that confident in it. And, I mean, you also have the no-trade clause. So, I mean, Deshaun Watson could literally say no to any trade that doesn't involve him going to the New York Jets. Well, comment your thoughts on today's news down below. I'm your host, Jets, signing off for now. See you later.